They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? How are we doing over here on Alex Squirrel? Today, I'm going to go back to uh, do a video like some of the ones I had done before. You know, when I first was uh, getting into reacting um, in general, but, you know, uh, on this channel especially, uh, I did a lot of Fred Dibna stuff. And it like puts a hole in my stomach watching some of that stuff. I'm so afraid of heights. It, ugh. So people people sent me some hype videos, and the hype videos do well. Some of them, uh, a lot of uh, it seems like it brings new people in me more. So I know some of you guys love watching me uh, get the crap scared out of me, but um, but uh, that's what this is going to be because the title of this video is Saturday Shift in Croydon, 73 meter tall tower crane, episode 10, 2023. So I've got to endure, uh, oh, you know, 16 and a half minutes of this. Uh, that's what you're into. Please stick around. I'm just going to get into this. Uh, the quicker I start it, the quicker it ends. Uh, if it's your first time here, please subscribe. And if you're afraid of heights, watch along with me, will you? Here we go. Hi, good morning and welcome back to another Crane Crazy vlog here on YouTube. Yes, uh, I'm actually in a different crane today. It's a Saturday today, the 1st of April. Crane Crazy vlog. Let's let's start out. I, I, I don't know you. Let's get to know each other, okay? The only thing crazy so far I'm seeing is you. Because I can see over your shoulder, that little window underneath that orange jacket. I can see you're already up in the air, my friend. You're nuts. And uh, no, I haven't won the, the lottery or anything like that. I'd, I'd, I've never really been into April Fools, but happy uh, 1st of April anyway. Uh, yeah, today I'm in Croydon. Um, I'm actually on cover for a crane. Uh, the crane I'm up is a... I don't know, you keep looking because uh, I don't really know. It's what well, I do know. It's a, it's a Yasso J280. Oh, a Yasso J280. It's my favourite kind of crane to be stuck in. No, it's not. Uh, PA. Um, and, yeah, I quite like these type of cranes. This is actually a Luffer crane. So it's one where the jib moves up and down like that way rather than a trolley jib like the crane that I'm operating currently in Brentford. So, uh, yeah, the guys, there's actually two cranes here. The other crane's just there to my right. Uh, that's up 85 metres. So it's quite a tall one. This one I'm on 73 meters. Now in these cranes, these like the one he just showed, I'm assuming he's in the same kind, which is a straight up column. First of all, no idea how they get the crane up there. I have to watch a video and find that out. But how do they get up there? Do they have to do they have to climb up like a ladder? Like, it looks like there's ladders on the. Is that how they get up there? Or is there like a, I wonder if, the, I don't have to look. I got to have to figure that out. Cause you know, elevator. Okay. Jeez, climbing that. Bro, no. So uh, work that out in your feet, and in fact, I'll stick it when I edit the video. I'll stick it at the bottom. You, you know, in feet. I'd, I work in meters, so it, it's it's tall anyway. So yeah, in Croydon, um, only ever been to Croydon a couple of times before for a couple of fun fairs that they normally do here, and um, yeah, it's it's all right. There's some really tall buildings here. Very short video. I don't want to show too much of the cab because it's not my crane. Um, but yeah, it's all right. I haven't actually done a single thing yet. <laughs> I haven't even put the chains on my block. The other crane's doing all of the work at the minute because everything seems to be on that block. The block that's next to me looks like it's pretty finished. Um, it's, it's almost there. But basically, they have just watching him lean forward and know he's looking. Just uh... um, cladding on this building. So they put the concrete foundations up um, and then the attached the cladding to the wall so it's basically like it... for the record i'm all for more footage from the cabin like this so like so far two minutes in a 16 minute video i'm doing okay more cabin footage buddy don't tell me no. looks like bricks i'll sh again i'll show you that in a second so they just pick that up and attach it to the side of the building so it's quite fascinating really so it's, it, it, it saves on a lot of stuff when you're using cladding you don't need the scaffolding, you don't need brick layers, it's just, it just comes on a wagon, you pick it off the wagon and you attach it to the side of the building. It's really cool. But yeah, anyway, so, um, sorry if my hand was in the way, I'm using my phone. I was going to do um, a walk up the crane, or climb up, but I, I think it'll be camera out and my GoPro out in time. But yeah, there's the uh, view looking down. 
So yeah, this is the cladding on the side of the buildings. So you can see the windows and the brick and everything's already attached to it. So yeah, once the concrete building's actually been built, just like that, I guess they walk up. Then you attach the uh, the right, cladding to the side of it. All right, so inside that. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I can't remember who sent me this video, by the way. I saved it, and I looked, I tried to find who sent me this. And, um, yep, yeah, thanks a lot. All right. Uh, raise your hand in the chat. Say, yeah, that was me. That was me, Squirrel. I'm the one who was nice enough to send this video to you. You can look here in the center, um, and you can see that uh, there's, there's like, a it's a ladder. So, like, it looks like there might be some platforms, so maybe you can rest. I don't know. But it looks like they climb up and down. That's a that's a double no. See, not only is it a no to even get my ass up in the air up there, but uh, if you want me to climb a ladder to get there? Yeah, where do I sign up for that? Screw no. So it's it's pretty fascinating. Uh, I've only ever been on a couple of jobs that uh, that do that. There's the top of the other crane. So yeah, these two are luffers. There's quite a few cranes up in Croydon at the minute. You got three over there. I think that's McAlpine's. This is what I'm saying. Like, how the hell do you get there on top of the building? You know what I'm saying? Like, they're up on top of a building. Those three there. And then you got the really tall one there at the top. I've no idea who's that. London Tower Cranes, maybe. I'm not sure. Really tall. That's got to be one of the tallest cranes in London at the moment. But it's definitely the tallest crane here in Croydon. Well, yeah, it's um, it's quite a big crane, actually. It can lift a maximum of 13 and a half ton. And uh, my duties chart's over here. I don't think I've ever shown you. Well, I'm pretty sure I've shown you a duties chart. So these, um, I don't know the length of my jib because I haven't jibbed down all the way yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's only about a 40 metre jib. So it's basically, you start at 40 metres there. You work up to the other 40 metres, so you can, at the end of 40 metres you're good for 6.7 and a half tonne, uh, which is pretty good. And then, um, like I said, 13 and a half tonne maximum lift. In fact, I was looking at the wrong one. That's a single fall, so a single rope, and that's a double fall or two fall. So it's on this one here, so yeah, 13 and a half metres at 26 metres. Um, yeah, so seven, yeah, it's like seven and a half at the end. And this one's actually got a, a H frame attached. It's like moving around, and all I can think of is this thing like shaking. Like, I know it's a big steel structure, but oh, to it as well. So, basically, when uh, they finish the crane, the crane has Stunner. to be parked like quite high up, like that. And to stop the jib blowing backwards in strong winds, you fit a frame to it so that like raises up and down but this one's actually controlled by if i can reach it this there's a switch here behind me i'll show you <laughs> yeah nice to see that the guy put a sticker up for the uh, nhs thank you nhs that's quite nice that he's done that I'd be so yeah this is in how you i'd be fr i would there's no way first of all that you're getting me in this thing right so it, even if like they put it in there and like I was tranquilized or something, like tranquilized I mean they I was knocked out cold, you know, somebody come up behind me with the rag, whatever. And they put me in it and then the whole structure raised up like an elevator, right? And I woke up up there, I would probably crap my pants and I wouldn't move. I'd be afraid that any move I would cause this thing to tip over. I'm telling you right now, him moving around is making my heart beat. It's making me, it, this is, it's very stressful. This is very, oh shit. You raise the, the H frame using this, press the button up and down on there, but you use that when you start the operations and when you finish your shift as well. Oh, it's got a nice radio in here as well. Yeah, I'll just take my jacket down. And you can see how, uh, how hot I get when I climb up because there's all the condensation on the window from my jacket. <laughs> no. Oh my yeah, God. there's the uh, H frame. You can't really see it, but it's basically just up there. Uh, and it raises up and down. This one's also fitted with air conditioning. These here as well, I don't really show you these, but this is the, 
the uh, the TC number. So this is 549 crane. Uh, mine's 600 and what was it? 691. So this is an older crane. Uh, it's a J280. So uh, it's a Luffin jib crane. So much. The view down there. My car's just parked in the car park just down there. The train station. Yeah, uh, what a view. What a view. Yeah, what a view. Go really, back inside. Really, really nice. It's not a bad day either, to be honest. Thank God there's no rain or anything. Yeah, there's the ladder. This is where he, clim this is where he climbed up. Oh. You can see the uh, the towers, TV aerials at uh, Crystal Palace there. And there's Canary Wharf in the distance. Uh, my fingers there. There's Canary Wharf over there. Can't really see much of the city centre of London, to be honest. You can. It's, uh, hang on, I'll just. Uh, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, it's just over there. There's a shard over there in the middle. Yeah, my job is. I don't really. I can't really work it out. I think it's. I think it's over there somewhere. I can't even see Heathrow from here. It's like Heathrow's way in the distance. Yeah, just a short video of what I do on Saturdays when I'm when I get called in. Oh no! Whoa! So yeah, the uh, no. No. the lad that's actually up the crane oh, up there. Yeah. I, I, I actually I actually feel sorry because he's doing all the work. I I, I should have gone up that crane, but I didn't really fancy climbing 85 meters. <laughs> I mean, it both took us about 20 meters to climb up the crane. But yeah, the lad that's up there is actually is actually one of my bosses. It's the first time I'm actually meeting him today, uh, so uh, nice to actually finally meet you. So yeah, it's, I think he said it was 23 stories this building here. So yeah, he's doing yes. this wagon down here. He's already done. He's already done one, so that's the second the load for the Zoom's day. In, I'm fine. Oh. Yeah, it's quite a tight site. You've got another building just here. You got a church there. Don't drop the camera, right? I don't really know Croydon that well, to be honest, so I can't give you any details or anything. But they do have a, um, road. what do you call it's it, a, a tramway system just road. here. Tram, okay. Yeah, Let's so go back inside. The thing about being a northerner, I don't know much about the south, unfortunately. I just work here, that's my excuse. So yeah, just a very short video. I don't really know what else to show you. Well, yeah, everything's all in connected, right? Oh, this is how you raise and lower the arm. Um, sorry, this is the jib. You raise and lower the jib. That raises. I thought this is the one that raised it, but it's not. It's inside the cab there. So, yeah, when you get up the crane... So confident he knows how to move everything around. I think this is... No, maybe it's the other one. No, yeah, okay. You turn the power on, and then you use this to actually lower the jib down. So you press the button there, hold it in. And then the jib comes down to, well, you don't take it too far. And then you raise up the H frame, not with this one because this one didn't work, the one that's in there. Raise the H frame up and then you're good to work. And then when you finish, obviously, make sure your jib at a decent angle because that takes really long, that's really slow. And then you drop the H frame back down again and then raise the jib back up to where it's and it'll just stop so yeah working for what was the well it's Carey's that had done the concreting and it's um, London Square Croydon I think yeah London Square Croydon there you go <laughs> so I do on Saturdays when I'm not able to go to theme parks and fun fairs unfortunately a lot of them actually closed um, yesterday because of the weather the weather was awful yesterday and on my side we we're actually climbing one of the cranes tc1 you probably saw me short if you didn't go and check it out I'm actually climbing one of the cranes uh not physically climbing up it but the crane itself is actually getting climbed um to about 85 meters i think it's only three sections of the crane each section normally is about four meters in length or in height so there's three of those um, and what they normally do is when they're raising the crane up they normally put like a cage on the side of it a, a climbing frame uh, which attaches to the side of the crane and then 
with the pumps and the uh, hydraulics that are in it actually lift the crane up and then they slide another section in and then they drop it back down and they bolt it back together but they're not doing that they're actually taking the crane apart I was I would have like if I wasn't doing anything today this morning I would have gone there and got some footage but we're actually using TC2 which is the crane next to me uh, not here on this side so he's kind of explaining how I still want to watch something and see but now it's it's starting to come a little bit together how they could possibly pull it off but the site where I'm permanently at um, they're actually taking the top of the crane off and then putting the sections on top which is it's quite rare actually to do it that way and to actually climb a crane is actually quite rare as well they'd normally put the crane at the full height uh, and then if the building's going up really tall what they do is then they climb the crane and then they basically bolt the crane to the side of the building so it can go a lot higher most cranes freestanding the tallest is about 110 meters off the top of my head um so yeah it was a bit a bit good uh, we were going to start doing it yesterday but the weather was awful the wind and the rain i mean i think i did about six lifts all day yesterday and half the staff weren't even in on site yesterday because they were doing this climb uh with tc1 um so it's crazy that he's up in this crane just moving freely and doing what he wants outside leaning over the rail and taking footage and shit like He's got so much trust in this crane and that's properly put together and everything else. Like me, when I drive by a crane, I hit the gas and I speed up to get out of the range of where that son of a bitch would fall as fast as I can because I fear they're all going to fall over. I don't know why, but I do. If I go back, I'll probably drive back that way um, on the way home. I mean, it took me like what, an hour and a half to come here to Croydon. So if I drive back that way, the past Brentford, I'll, uh, I'll I'll get a bit of footage. I'll probably just do like a YouTube short or something. I would have liked to have got the drone and actually got some nice footage for them. But the weather is it's, it's rubbish. I'm waiting for it to get like nice weather so I can get some nice crane footage. And the problem I'm finding as well with the cranes being so tall, I'm getting anxious and like I'm I'm my butterflies in my stomach. I'm fluttering over here. Because he's talking about flying a drone, I think from the top of a crane. Oh shit! It's it's where to position, uh, position, uh, position my GoPro. I'm thinking of clamping it sort of here, so you get like a over the shoulder sort of look, like you know that that sort of view. But then you can't really see down on the ground, which yeah, I need I need something that's more to that sort of angle. No, you don't really. But there you go. Saturday shift in Croydon. That's yeah. basically probably the title and what else I've got to show you. I haven't done a lift. Um, I can't really show you that much anyway, even if I was doing a lift. Because I'm, I'm so tall, and so, I'm so high up, you can't see, you can't really see the ground. But um, yeah, I'm a bit gutted I'm not up the other crane, actually. Because <laughs> he's, he's got all the fun today, he's doing all the work. <sighs> Oh, I so got it. I guarantee you they're paying you for climbing up that some bitch and sitting in it climbing back down. Never mind. Yeah, it's nice to come to different places. Yeah, I do quite a lot of Saturdays really. Saying that I haven't this is the first Saturday I've done uh, in about three weeks. The last one I did was in Oxford where they actually did some of the shots like this where he's looking out or when he zooms in on something, it's not so bad. It's like if you've ever been in a tall building and you look out the window, I don't get any I don't get close to the window or anything like that, but yeah, you know, he's kind of, oh yeah, I see what's going on that window way over there. It sounds mm -hmm. like the filming was not allowed, so uh, I didn't get any footage, but it was a nice little site actually in in, uh, in Oxford. Um, it's like, th what was it, three cranes up there? I think there's five going on there at one point. But yeah, anyone that's from Croydon, do you know the names of the buildings around here? This one's really nice here, this one here with the, like, the purple and the red. Uh, cladding on the side of it, I thought that's really nice. Is that that's really tall? I don't know how many floors that is. I mean, I could count them. Uh, you, you can see, uh, obviously, the new building that's going up over there. Three cranes building that now, that one there. Yeah, some big tall buildings here. A nice sort of view round. Just checking my watch. I only got seven zones. Yeah, we've also so got the anti collision so system. Down here as well so you can see the zonings here all this red section here is an area where we can't actually go so it's zoned out so they go the crane goes any nearer to the red section the crane will actually stop and the same if I go near 
the other chrome which is TC2 so I'm up TC1 that's TC2 you can see it moving around oh yeah huh. so if he comes near me he'll stop and if the same so it's a really good system it's all done by radio uh, signals it's really cool well, there you go it's like the shift in Croydon there's not much else to show you really but uh, yeah uh, I hope you have a good weekend I don't know if you've got anything planned just let me know if you want any more questions just let me know uh, I do try and answer pretty much every question and comment that I get through the channel and I am so grateful for everyone who's subscribed yes the contents not as much as I thought it might have been but most of it that I've filmed so far is like bad weather. <laughs> that's, that's, all you, that's all you seem to get in the UK, isn't it? Bad weather is either wind or rain or snow or fog or whatever. But I'm, I'm, I guarantee there'll be there'll be you know better content coming soon. Some nice nice footage, nice weather. Uh, it, it just won't be as often. And probably one one video a week if I can if I can get around to doing that. But. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, hopefully this afternoon I might be going to Blackheath. There's a massive fair on in Blackheath. That's really worth um, attending. And tomorrow, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't Maybe know. I don't off. know what I'm doing. This. Stay on the ground. Oh, no, no. Weekend, silly. but yeah. yeah. I hope you have a good weekend. And remember, stay safe. So it's nice how he ends the video with "Stay safe." Yeah, you stay safe, pal. You're the guy who's. Way the hell up in the air, looking down at us like we're like we're ants, you know. Um, whew, I gotta tell you, seven zone minutes, not too bad. Uh, the, I mean, this wasn't as bad as I expected. It was a lot of him shots, but when he went outside the back, that was rough. That was really rough. Um, I learned a little bit. I learned a little bit about how they uh, put the cranes up and take them down. I still need to actually see it to be able to visualize it. Uh, him showing how they operate the different pieces, the charts on what they can lift. Like, that's kind of cool, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's interesting. I wonder a couple things. And maybe I'll go over and see if I, you know, maybe I'll go over and lose some questions for him. But, like, how much training is involved in get, doing this job? Is it just, hey, you don't crap your pants after, after three floors, so you get to do the job? I mean, I doubt it. You know, how much training? How long does the training take? Um you know, how's the pay? The pay must be fantastic, right? I bet that guy's, you know, making a good little uh, chunk of money. Who knows? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe he's making minimum wage. I don't know. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah. Anybody from Croydon? Yeah? Go out there and uh, wave. Try to get on video. All right? Just go wave. It's me. Tell Squirrel I said hi. Thanks. You know, that's all. That's all you got to do. Anyways, uh, that was uh, Saturday Shift in Croydon. And, uh <sighs> I got plenty of time to edit now because I ain't going to bed anytime soon. All worked up. All worked up inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember who sent it. Remind me if you sent it, please. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching the video, enjoyed watching the squirrel, and I hope that I'll catch you soon. Be good. Squirrel out.